Well, it's that time of year again. The kids are going back to school, and many of our children are sniffling, coughing, and already feeling sick. But do they have allergies, a cold, or the flu? Well, sometimes it can be hard to determine between the three. Well, Dr. Rob is here with tips. He's going to help you decipher between those three. Good to see you again, man. It can be a confusing time of the year. It really can. Kids go back to school, allergies are full swing, especially with the fall ones, yeah. that ragweed's out there. Next thing you know, they start coming home with the sniffles. You know, which one is it? Do, do they have the allergies? Do they have a cold? Or are they getting the flu? Because we're coming up on flu season pretty quickly here, too, as well. That's right. It can be confusing. Yeah, and, you know, people are already talking about getting the flu shot soon. Uh, but allergies play such a huge part, especially like you talked about, uh, you know, us living in the valley um, and the ragweed and such. Uh, even kids now going back to school, how do you know? Because there's so much transference of bacteria, you know, <laughs> yeah, especially especially those grade school children, yeah. right? You know, they got their hands into everything, everything and on everything. So they transfer all that bacteria and virus and the next thing you know they have a cold. And interesting enough, they just started school really a week ago some of the districts and we're already getting phone calls with kids that have colds. Yeah. It happens that fast when they get into close contact. Right. Well, we have some tips for you today that'll help you differentiate between allergies, the cold, or the flu. Perfect. So, allergies. Allergies. Really common this time of the year. What do we see? We see runny nose. We see watery, itchy eyes, coughing. Can be sudden and onset. Usually worse in the morning. Yeah. Or sometimes when the day really heats up, it gets bad. Really simple to treat. All you need to do is splash water on your face to get the allergens off your face. Blow your nose. Wash out your nose. Yeah. Right? And there's some antihistamines you can use. And Allergies in themselves are self-living. They're usually not very problematic. Is there a time of day that's worse for, for allergies to be acting up? Yes, there is. Great question. Early morning, late afternoon, in the heat of the day, that 3 to 5 o'clock hour can be really problematic three for a lot of people. 3 to 5 is tough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's allergies. What about cold? Now, colds, they're a little slower in onset. Mm -hmm. Takes a day or two to get going. They're really bad in that second to third day. They're very self-limiting. Usually, what you end up with is the runny, stuffy nose, yeah. the sore throat, a little coughing, a little sneezing. It has a slight fever, not a big fever, and you might get a little bit of a headache with it. Usually, <clears throat> in about three to five days, you're over it. Just a little bit of rest, a little bit of fluids, maybe some decongestants, and you're fine. It's so similar to the allergies. That's the confusing part. It's so similar. That <laughs> it cold is day. very similar. But the flu definitely a standout. Now the flu that'll hit you like a freight train. Everybody who's had the flu knows it just comes on all of a sudden. At breakfast you were fine, and by lunch you feel miserable. You get whacked with a headache. Yeah. You start getting the coughing, the congestion. You get the high fever, chest discomfort, and then everything hurts from your little toe to the top of your head. Yes. Everything oh, aches. Me. Uh. That's the flu. It's very rapid in onset. And we do have a few, high fevers. A few more seconds. I wanted to uh, point out you did bring a few remedies <laughs> yeah, real quick. Menagerie yeah, of stuff that people like to use whenever they have cough. But you colds would and recommend flus. a few of these things. You know, if if you have a cold or even the flu, it's very self-limiting. It's usually three to five days. You should be getting better. If you're not getting better in that narrow window of time, three to five, three days, to five days, then it's time to go see your doctor and get checked up to make sure you're not developing something like bronchitis or pneumonia or sinusitis that need to be treated with antibiotics. Definitely don't want it to escalate. Uh, no, great you tips. Don't. You can always find Dr. Rob on AmericasFitnessDoctor.com and of course AlphaMaleInstitute.com. Always something going on there. Great tips uh, and uh, keeping us allergy, cold, and flu free. Absolutely. Uh, fingers crossed on that one. Hey, we're talking sweet.